Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at a little asset in the asset store simply called Wooden Pose Man. Now these are essentially just mannequins, and I know there are many, many uses for mannequins, uh, and the actual fun thing about this is you don't necessarily just have to use them as mannequins. So it does come with a demo scene, as you guys know, I absolutely love, because it gives us a taste, a view of what could be. So in the scene view, we actually theoretically get one single mannequin. Now, the good thing about this is that there are different poses. The fact there are different poses, this one mannequin, means that, yep, you've guessed it, each section is movable. And that really helps because we can put them in any pose we wanted. And if we wanted to, theoretically, we could use them as an actual movable character. I guess it all depends on what whether you want to have a mannequin as an actual <laughs> playable character I don't really know so quantity wise there isn't a great deal here you've just got the model and the texture which is fair oh, obviously the demo scene as well which is fair enough because that's exactly what it uh, portrays itself as um, quality wise I actually think it's quite nice quality I think it's well designed and it would fit in quite well in well for example if you're going for a horror game I've played a few horror games on this channel where it's been focused around mannequins. Mannequins do freak me out a little bit. I'm not quite sure why. Something weird about them and creepy and eerie. So, yeah, I, I can see them being used in many different things. The usefulness of it can be used in many different projects. Even if you've just got a city scene and you've just got a shop and you just want some mannequins in the shop with something on them. Yeah, I think these would fit in quite well they're obviously quite versatile as we can see because we can put them into any pose we want it all just depends on uh, what kind of pose you want them to have like that way hey so quality back to that um yeah they're pretty plain but again you don't necessarily have to stick with the plainness of it you could change you know anything about it to add the metallic up a bit Let's change it to an albedo alpha and have them really shiny and just weird. You know, there's there's endless possibilities with this. And I really do like the design. They're nice and shiny. It's increased the normal map, make them look creepy. Um, let's even add some post-processing. See what that looks like. Now that just look kind of creepy. <laughs> so uh, it is free as of recording this review. And obviously prices change all the time. So just keep that in mind uh file size 1.3 meg that's not too bad at all so this is going to be perfect for anything the file size is not going to impact your game in any way shape or form even on mobile devices even if you've got a slow connection you know that's it's one meg <laughs> that's going to take you at the most a minute to download unless you're on like 56k dial up <laughs> i remember those days uh, so yeah, the customizability, you could change it if you wanted to. I guess you could change the uh, wooden material color to maybe blue or something if you wanted to. Or bright red, pink, yellow, green. Uh, you could change, I don't know, like I said, the, the metallic look of it and make them look really funky. <laughs> Again, if you wanted to. So they are quite diverse in that way. Uh, as you said with extras, what you see is what you get here. There aren't really any extras, uh, but that's perfectly fine. Folders are nice and neat as well. Everything we'd expect it. And as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this because even if you're not looking for a mannequin per se, I think these would do quite well for a character. Like I said, you could even find some clothes somewhere and dress these guys up. Or even if you just wanted to get some motion down uh, with an animation, these would be actually pretty decent for it. I really like these. And to be honest, I can see them being used in my survival horror series because they've just got that look about them of being creepy. So I may actually use them myself in my tutorial series. So guys, have you used these assets yourself in your game? If you have, Please let me know what you think of them. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out and review it in one of these little videos. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to get notified about everything I've got on video game development on my channel, because I upload regularly and there's always something new to see and do here. So guys, got to say, thank you very much for watching.